So greetings from Pennsylvania once again. It's Tuesday, October 18th, getting late in the afternoon, and we're up here in Wiser State Forest, just uh, kind of east of the town of Port Clinton, actually right near the Appalachian Trail here. And we're going, uh, we're going camping tonight, so I gotta find my campsite yet. It's campsite number three, so I thought I'd take you along with me as I try to find it up here too, but yeah, up here in Wiser State Forest. Let's go, let's go find that campsite. Yeah, so out there, testing out a state forest campsite over in Bashow State Forest, which turned out pretty well. I thought I'd try one closer to home here, here in Wiser State Forest. But yeah, you can see a lot of color on the trees. Gonna get chilly tonight too. Maybe down to like 40 degrees, but we should stay warm. Definitely taking us up. We can have some views over there. Out the Jeep window. Yes, yeah, so like I said, I'm at site number three. I hope, I'm hoping they have these places labeled. They did nicely in Michaux State Forest. So here's campsite number one. This would have been a nice one. Yeah, P1. Yeah, permit required these spots, but anyway, we'll keep going. Hopefully we find mine. Well, this is campsite number three. Interesting. I'm not sure what I think of all these poles, but it's kind of the intersection of the two roads here. But I guess when we're, let's just walk down here quick. I have room enough to turn around. I can drive down here, turn around. Yeah, I'm not sure. Huh. Anyway, once you get past this, it's kind of nice down here, shaded. Looks like we have a little trail going off that way. Yeah, um, I guess not so bad. I'm not, I'm not sure why I'm letting these, I guess that's to prevent people from driving down here and down this way. I guess that's what they're trying to stop. Anyway, I'm not trying not to let that, that bother us. I'm not sure why I'm bothered by some poles like that. Anyway, let's get to, let's get Naomi down here and uh, start getting things ready. It just kind of threw me off at first. I actually, there's actually another road that goes down that way. I went down that way looking for site number three. Site number two was down there, but it's occupied by someone else. But anyway, so yeah, let's get uh, let's get camp set up. Already a chill in the air. To get that campfire going. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, yeah, I want to mention once again because uh, it came up in my comments section in one of my other camping video, the other camping video where I camped at the state forest over the show. You do need a permit to camp at these sites. They're not they're not free sites. I know some people suggested that it might be free, you know, to come here. But but the not. idea being that if no one was here, like if I came driving through here and I saw no one camping here that I could just pull in and camp myself. You, you can't do that. Yeah, technically you might be able to get away with it, but uh, you know, if the ranger comes through, you know, you, you're gonna have some issues. So they are they are paid sites. It's ten dollars and there's a reservation fee, it ends up being like sixteen bucks. But you know, for sixteen bucks, that's not so bad. Alright, quit yapping and get set up here. Ooh, gotta find a tent site, maybe down there, but I can thank the previous people who are here for the previous people for trashing my Sight here a little bit, left all the bunch of foil and stuff. Take your take your junk back with you when you leave. I'll have to clean that up. I don't really want that in there. So I think maybe right in there is a good spot for the tent. Yeah, you know, when you're done camping at sites wherever you are, just clean up after yourself. It doesn't take that much. Yeah, come on. Alright, so we have home basically set up for the night. Naomi's kind of tucked away in her little spot. Um, there is a signal up here. Wi-Fi signal, pretty decent one. It looks well. Yeah. Oh yeah, pretty decent one. Um, we'll probably have some grilled cheese tonight. Got some bread and cheese. Oh, I got some of those turkey sticks in there. Um, let's see. Might put some bacon on there. <laughs> no, got some of this stuff. Just quick and easy to put on. But I might put some of this on too. A viewer sent this to me recently. Might put some of this on my grilled cheese using this. I haven't used this yet in a video. This was sent to me some time ago. Nice little cutting board. About time I use it for a camping trip. Got some mail to share. Just a few pieces. 
We'll get the campfire going in a bit. Got that foil cleaned up. Like I said, take your trash with you. Leave a little few scraps in there. Got plenty of firewood. Got uh, the bedroom set up. Have the rain fly on tonight. Slight chance of rain. And we got the warmer sleeping bag in there tonight. Might be down to 40, but this is rated down to like 30 or something like that. So we should be okay. Plus I got I got grandma's Afghan quilt if it gets a little bit too cold. So, all right. So like I said, I'm gonna get a campfire going. But I'm gonna work on another video. It's just a little bit after four o'clock. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one of my campfire chats. I've done several of those and why not do one here since I have the opportunity to. But uh, I'll fill, that's, that'll be a separate video, but I think I have some time to kill. Um, Maybe we'll done. We'll be done with that about five o'clock or something like that, and then we'll get some get some food going. Not sure what else I'll do tonight. I'm just gonna enjoy the outdoors here. So, but anyway, I'll get back to you in a bit. Well, for you, it'll just be like a moment, but for me, it'll be a little while. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm done making that video. That's how much the fire burned down, but it's good dry wood there. But yeah, the sun. You can see the sun through the trees there. It was showing up nicely just a moment ago, poking through. Anyway, it's about right there. Bye. I'm getting hungry. Let's uh, let's get some yummies cooking here. Like I said, we'll probably use the the pie iron. Like I said, I guess we'll make a grilled cheese. I, I think we'll use this. I can use, use a bacon later. But yeah, this was given like I said, given to me a little while ago. Let's uh, let's cook that up with the grilled cheese. Let's get things going here. All right, let's get the spray these down then we'll get uh, get this set up here all right well my face is kind of cut off but that's okay let's get our bread pieces in there cheese you can find the right way to open them anyway where is that little flap there it is. Struggles of getting the cheese open. And we're gonna cut some of this, cut that end piece off, we'll eat that later. All right. Oh, I cut it when I cut the plastic open, that's what's going on. And I'm using the wrong side of the knife too. Some of those little schnivelings on here. Let's see what this tastes like. Maybe one little smaller schnivelling yet. What's a schnivelling? It's just a little piece. That's what it is. I think it's Pennsylvania Dutch. There we go. Move that one up. Lick the fingers off. Slap one more piece of cheese on there. I guess you can see what that looks like from here. Look at it on there. So yeah. All right. So let's uh get this going. Got some good hot coals in here. So. Shouldn't take too long. All right, nicely browned, not burnt, like we've done in the past. Let's drop this guy in here. Let's try test him out and get this guy back over here. All right, let's see what this guy. Well, I already know it's gonna be good, but. Mm -mm. All right, so time for the taste test. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I knew it was gonna be good, but it is good. I feel like the camera's all kind of wonky there, but anyway. Definitely gonna have to, definitely gonna have to make another one. Yeah, that's a good combination. 
you're definitely gonna get another one going here. Maybe I can get everything in camera here. In the shot, in the shot. Get the bread in there. I cut this up. Actually, it helps to cut these up into smaller pieces. Because when, when you bite into it, they tend to come out on their own. All at once, I mean, big chunks. Oop, left some of it. Don't want that on there. Alright, one more piece. smaller than what I wanted, but it'll have to do. Okay. One more piece of cheese. We'll get this by the fire again. Fortunately, I don't think I have... Well, I have... I do have more bread. Well, I guess I, I could make a third one. I have one's, one's the crust then, but we'll see. Alright, let's get this... Let's get it with the fire again indulge ourselves once again. Alright, try to get round two going. Still have some coals in here. I'm gonna have to get some more wood on here soon. But I think it's smoke in my face here. Number two. This one got a little blacker, but it's okay. Looks a little bit crunchier. A little bit hotter too. Quite a bit hot. Gotta let that cool off just a little bit. Yeah, that second one was just, just a little bit too hot when I bit into it the first time there, but it's all good. So I think I'm gonna, I have those other two pieces of bread left. One's a crust, but I think I'm gonna make a third one. Might as well just use up the bread. There's still room in the belly. And they taste good too, so I might as well just make the third one. All right. There's still plenty of hot coals in the fire for the third one. Plus I got more firewood over there, but we'll save that for, I'm going to be using that up tonight. I'm going to sit around the campfire till late, probably. I have a signal here, so I'll probably watch, I'll probably watch a few YouTube videos later. We'll see who posted tonight. Um, yeah, probably get some coffee or some tea going in a bit. And no, I, I will be eating these scraps too. I have left over. Some, some people think I just throw those away, but I do eat the scraps. Either tonight or later. But anyway. Let's get this last one going here. And I almost forgot, I do have two pieces of mail to share with you. I gotta eat my third sandwich, but maybe we'll show some of this now quick. Hold on a second. So this is from Clint. He's the fellow that sent me that cool, uh, what's this? Anyway. <laughs> Just reading. This is the cemetery you visited in. Could oh, I was yeah, I was at this one in Cadoris Park. Yeah, just and look at that picture. Yeah, this this is Clint. He was the one that sent me that big binder of my family history. I think you saw one of my recent mail time videos. So he sent me a little bit more information that he gathered on some he uh, researched some of more of those family lines. He has a couple notes for me and stuff. So thank you, Clint, for. Some more, yeah. I'm just sorry, I'm just getting distracted reading some of it. Some more information on yeah, my I even family. did that one video recently where I discovered I probably do have Irish ancestry because of because of his research. I had researched that in the past and kind of got stuck, kind of let it go, but then he he did some more research into that. And I, I, I do indeed, more than likely, I do indeed have some Irish ancestry, so that was cool. So thanks, Clint. He's kind of just give me some more information he's researched on in that packet. But anyway, I have another box here. This was from Norm. He sent me some books. He's got, he's, he's a, he said he's going through his library, kind of clean things up, so I'll show you some of the books he sent me. A couple books here. So this one, this one was interesting, because this one has some places that I've been to in the past. Um, and some old maps, too. Like, where's the one place? Uh, it talks about the resorts. Uh, where's that one? 
Oh, Clapperthal Mineral Springs. Grab it. We've been in this area before on Never Sink Mountain. So where was that page? There was a map on here. Uh, anyway, so the, where was that? Anyway, uh, that's some information on the canals. Shipwreck at Stouchburg. That's probably the canal too. There's all kinds of information in here that I can make. Probably get some videos off of. So it has pictures of the old buildings too. So that's pretty cool. I think I'll be using that one. Their book, the Historical Society of Brooks County. What's this one? Historical Review of Berks County. Here's an old magazine. Check that out. I think that used to be a Blue Marsh Lake, the octagonal house. I could be wrong about that, but anyway, oh, some more notes in there from him. And then this book, he sent me. I already have this book. I actually have two copies of this book. So now I have three, but I'll probably give some. I'll probably give this one away at some point. But it's a cool book. All the Indy Paths in Pennsylvania. So thank you, Norm, for those books. Like I said, I'll definitely get some use out of that one book. I was looking at it. It's definitely some videos worthy material I can make out of this. It's, it's local to me too. It's in my home county, so that's pretty cool. All right, I gotta eat that sandwich. All right, just slap some more wood in the fire. Well, not slap, but place more wood in the fire. Sun is about to set back there. Although it's not really dark by any means just yet, but let's, uh, I'm kind of curious where this trail goes. It's a pretty distinctive trail back through here. I wonder if there's something worth seeing here. It goes over here. There's a mound of dirt here. Okay, that's odd. Just Huh. So this is probably from the parking, I mean from my camp area. So I wonder if they just, uh, when they flattened the area out up there, that site, that they just dozed all the dirt down here. I thought this might lead to like a cool overlook or something out there. But I don't see the trail continue on anywhere down there. All right. Okay. It was worth a try. I had to ease my curiosity there. I guess we'll get back to the campsite. Maybe it's time to... It should be almost about 6 o'clock. Maybe it's time to make some coffee or something. I'll, I'll probably relax by, by the fire for quite a while. Oh, I have some of those uh, color flame, magic flame things to throw in there again. Like I said, I might watch, just watch some YouTube videos by the fire too. Oh, I hear the church bells. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. I don't know if you can hear that. I think it's coming down from Port Clinton. I can barely hear it anymore. Anyway, church bells. And the fire is going again. All right, let's get a uh, yeah. Let's get some coffee going. Actually, what time is it? Here's my phone. Oh, it is just six o'clock. Oh, I got to check a message there. <laughs> All, right. All right. Yeah. You can kind of see the sun shining through the trees there. Oh, there's a good shot. Yeah, there you go. I love that. Yeah, just get my coffee stuff ready again. I looked up at the the sunset again. There, you get to see the rays of sun just. Sh Shining through the forest there. Yeah, I don't know if that's showing up real nice, but it's kind of like a gold the golden hour I guess they call it Shining through there All right, let's get the coffee going Warmed up. Got a few other things to get ready. That's kind of wobbly. All right. There we go. 
not quite boiling yet. Creamers. Now the fun part. I just need the creamers. One and two. Well, let's put a third one in there, but we'll let it go. Well, I was just getting ready to enjoy my hot coffee. Of course, I spilled a bunch of it, but I do have some paper towels right up there so I can get this cleaned up. Yikes. All right, well, now I can enjoy my hot coffee and not dump it on the table. All right, in a minute, I'm going to go relax by the fire a little bit, but I'm going to... I've been cleaning up, putting stuff in the Jeep for the night. You don't want to leave anything out, you know, overnight when you're camping. And the animals will get into it, trust me. So I just have a few things to put away and then we'll sit by the fire, have some quiet time, and maybe watch some videos, like I said. Yeah, I think I said earlier, it's supposed to get down to like 40 tonight, maybe. Doesn't feel, I mean, there's definitely a nip in the air. Not the sun's going down, but this is nice and warm, so. I did bring some warmer clothes to wear by the fire, but I don't really need it yet. So, plus I got, I got two more bundles of firewood. <laughs> Keep me warm. So, hot coffee, a warm fire, a chilly evening. It's great camping. Yeah, getting starting to get dark now. It's nice by the fire. Let's go ahead and toss those cosmic flames in. Remember these things. So we can get them right on the top there. There we go. Let's see how long it takes to get some color. And it's, they're not, they're sitting right on top of the logs there. Okay, they're not quite burning up just yet. Have to wait just a moment. All right, well, they're starting to catch fire now. There's some blue flames right in the middle right there. I shoved them with a the stick a little bit to the crack in a the log there where the fire's coming up, but they just kind of melted. <laughs> Like I said, the edge right there caught fire. So you got the blues and the greens coming up there. Yeah, so like I said, just chilling by the fire, watching some videos. But it's like just a little after seven, it is almost pitch black. Just a little bit of light to the sky you can see yet. I mean, it's definitely not summer anymore. No more uh, daylight till like nine o'clock. But anyway. I'm gonna keep relaxing here by the fire. So, keep watching some videos, I think. It's great to have a signal when you're camping. I mean, you don't need to have, you don't need to watch videos while you camp. It's just something I like to do. I relax a little bit here by the fire. Yeah, I guess you get to see me. Yeah, it's a uh, different camping. I mean, we camped about a month ago in the haunt, well, yeah, in the haunted hollow in the show State Forest. It got dark about. I think about eight o'clock it was dark, but now it's almost like I say it was about seven. It's only a little after seven, it's already dark. <laughs> I'm not gonna go to bed at seven, but anyway, might have to go end up going to bed at eight. I mean, it's cool sitting by the campfire a little bit too, but I can only do that for so long. So, anyway, I'm gonna burn, get my camera on fire here either. <laughs> All right. But I do like, I know I said it already, but I do like these chilly nights just warming by the campfire, though. Yeah, here, 
Oh, my phone. I got a message there. I was going to say, I can could, I could hear a few. I hear a few crickets out there in the night just yet. Not sure if the camera's picking that up or not, but... There's just a little bit of highway traffic noise, too. I think it's Route 61. But it's not overly loud, though. No, I don't hear any critters yet. No bears coming through the woods or anything. There are bears up here in this area, but... I doubt we'll encounter any tonight. I put all my stuff in my Jeep anyway. Well, it's almost 8 o'clock. I'll probably just be hitting the sack soon. Tell you what, though, there's, there's a number of oak trees around here, and the, the acorns fall every now and then. It sounds like there's something out in the woods, you know, like making a footstep, but it's just it's just acorns falling. Or at least, or at least I hope it's just acorns falling. <laughs> But anyway, I'm not gonna put another bundle of firewood on this. I've got uh, the store I get my fi uh, firewood from had a different, uh, I guess, a different supplier. This wood burned a lot longer than the stuff I had been using. I feel like I hear something off in the woods right there. Anyway, all right. <laughs> I'm okay, folks. All right, but I think I'm gonna hit the sack here soon. So I'll say good night to you here. All right, well, good morning, folks. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, right, this, huh? The outside world. All right. And here we are, beautiful Wednesday morning, October the 18th, and there's our friend, the sun rising up because last night um it's always interesting because you know last night we i got a view of the sun you know dropping down in the west now here it comes up in the east i mean that's the way it is but it's always just kind of interesting when you're camping anyway oh well you know what time it is <laughs> time to start packing up But it's a beautiful morning. So yeah, I could get a fire going, cook some breakfast up, and cook some breakfast up, and things like that. But well, that sun feels good though. But anyway, um, I'll probably have some pop tarts this morning. I might—I don't know—I might make some coffee. But I'm only—I'm only 15 minutes from home, actually. So I might just make coffee at home. Probably will because I, I got other duties I got to do today. Um, I think I told you at the beginning of the video, I, norm I normally, it's Wednesday morning, I normally teach on Wednesday mornings, but they had off fall break today, but I, have to, I teach tomorrow, though. The other place didn't have off, so I've got to get ready for that. Uh, Mom's car's at the garage, we've got, we got to pick that up this morning, and I, I got, I got as, of, as of now, I've, I've a, I have 11 videos I have to edit. I mean, slacking off on that, so anyway... I don't know. We'll see what happens. I might get out and do something later today, too. But it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful day. My mouth needs to wake up, though, too. Anyway. Uh, let's find those Pop-Tarts, and uh, we'll start packing up. Uh, yeah, Pop-Tarts pop -tarts have been obtained. It is about 8 o'clock. Yeah, it's a little bit after 8. But that all of that sun coming up through the trees out there. Yeah. All right. But, yeah, we got we to gotta do a pack. We gotta get packed up a little bit here yet. Slept pretty good last night. Um, it, it's not as chilly as I thought it would be. It's probably maybe in the upper 40s. But uh, I did have a bit of a dull headache for a while. I need to get a bit thicker foam topping for that cot I've been using too. Might be just a little bit more comfortable. Didn't have to use the afghan. That, my warmer sleeping bag is, is just great for last night. Real comfy. So I was plenty warm last night. Yeah, I had a there's aspirin in the Jeep, but I didn't you know I didn't want to get out my warm cocoon to go get some aspirin. The headache wasn't terrible, just a little bit. But then I, I, had, I, had, I had to pee then too, so I the combination of that with the headache forced me to get out my cocoon of my hibernation there and you know take care of business and, and get the aspirin. Now I feel a little bit better. That was about 4:30 in the morning, so it was chillier then. But anyway, so gonna be work on. Yeah, I'm, 
in the future here, I'm thinking about, you know, camping in colder weather too. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it, but I got there's something to think about. But that, that sleeping bag worked really well. I don't think I ever used that sleeping bag in really colder weather, but it's rated right at 30 degrees. I think I have one that, well anyway, I think I might have one that is better than that. We'll see, but I am thinking about doing some winter camping maybe. We'll see. <laughs> see how that goes. All right, I'm blabbing. Let's eat some Pop-Tarts. I was just sitting here eating my Pop-Tarts thinking about how peaceful it is right now. And it is, but one thing I forgot to mention was last night, <laughs> trains. There's a, there are train tracks down at the bottom of this mountain. Going to, there's, a, there's a gap in the mountains here. I don't know if I said that where, where Port Clinton is. Yeah, it was interesting, like, when did we get here, about 3.30? I don't know, anyway, until a little bit past 8, no train noises. Then I go to bed, and there's the, the horns are blaring, the train horn, whatever you want to call it, just blaring down there. Different different points throughout the night into the early morning. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't, uh, the first time I went off, you go, oh, what's that, what's that? It's a train horn. But yeah, and then... Here in the morning again, it's, it's like the trains don't run during the day. They just run at night down there. So yeah, if you camp up here at Port Clinton at the Wiser State Forest, be, be, be prepared for uh, the trains at night. <laughs> you and the phone. <laughs> all right then, Naomi is all packed up, but always just double check your area. Make sure you leave nothing behind that's yours. No, I'm not leaving any tin foil left over in there. Although I do have one little piece of trash in there, I'll take that out. Look, so I'll throw one of my creamer cups in there, I'll take that out. But I did notice there are all little bits of little trash around here, it's not mine. But anyway, I'll, let's just go ahead and grab that now, since that's my trash. All right. Yeah, but, you know, check on the table and make sure nothing of yours is laying around. Yeah, nice little campsite, though. So that'll be it then. Nice little break from the realities of life camping out here for the evening. Not, I mean, not a total break from reality. I do spend, when I'm sitting around the campfire, I do spend a lot of time thinking about life and things. But it's a nice, quiet place to come to. But anyway, I gotta get back to that life. You know, like I said, I got homework to grade classes to get ready for, other duties of life or calling. So as always, thanks for coming along, folks. Um, hopefully we'll see you on the next one. But before we head out, there's a little parting gift for you. I have a friend kind of stopping to visit me. Got a deer out there. Hello there. Did you come visit my campsite last night? I can't tell. I don't think there's any antlers on her. Well, I'm assuming it's a her the camera screen, but I won't find out till I get home. Oh, there she goes. Looks like a young doe. Alright, there's our parting farewell.